So let's talk about inline elements. Inline elements are quite different to the block level elements group as inline elements do not necessarily affect the surrounding content in the same way that the block level elements do. So let's start off by looking at the span element denoted by the opening and closing span tags. And I'm going to add some text after the span element. Save this and preview in our browser. Have a think about what the browser might render. As these are inline elements, they are essentially in line with the content that is not a block level element. So by that I mean we have an inline element and then we have some text after the inline element. And as you can see, they are rendered both on the same line. So now let's talk about text modifiers. Put in a line break. This is one of those times where a line break is actually handy. And we're going to start off with the strong element. So in HTML, we can define important text using the opening and closing strong tags. We can also use the emphasis element to render text with emphasis. So I'll go ahead and save this, open it up in our browser. And as you'll see, this is some strong text, which would be inside the strong element is being rendered as bold text. And this is some text with emphasis, which would be inside the emphasis element and it is being rendered with italic text. So I hope you've learned a little bit about text modifiers and inline elements in HTML.